the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Good day, learners and students at home. You are welcome to another segment of home management class. I am your teacher, Obangozi Gloria. Today's topic of discussion is on food commodities. And the subtopic is on meat cookery part two. If you remember on our last topic, we discussed on meat. What meat is, specific names for animals, nutritional value of meat, and then how the different cuts from a cow. We started by defining what meat is, that meat is the flesh of a slaughtered animal, the post of a slaughtered animal. And then we went on to mention animals and their specific name, that the cut of cow, the cut from a cow is called beef. The cut from a pig is called pork. The outline, the factors to consider when buying meat, methods of cooking meat, meat stroke or fowl dishes, effect of heat on meat, definition of offal, examples of offal, nutritional value of offal, red and white meat, ways of storing and preserving offal, Conclusion and assignment. Now we go to factors to consider when buying meat. There are factors to look out for when we are buying meat in the market to help us get value for our money. Number one is food value. Number two, freshness of the meat. Number three, order of the meat. Number four, dishes to be prepared. Number five, tenderness. Now, let's take them one after the other. Number one, food value. Meat contains all the essential amino acids in the proportion required and can be readily used in the diet by all class of people, except otherwise for the aged, who do not require red meat, but white meat for easily digestibility. What do we mean by that? For the food value that every class of people needs meat because it contains all the essential amino acid, which is protein for growth and development, except for the aged, who are not advised to take red meat because they are growing old and it cannot be easily digested in their body. Number two, we have freshness of the meat. If you're buying meat and it has a foul or a bad odor, it is not fresh at all. So meat should be fresh, having a fresh smell. Number three, color of the meat. The color of good quality meat is purplish red or blood red. Dark brown or black meat should not be choosing. It shows that that meat is going bad or it's an old meat and cannot be easily cooked. Number four, odor of the meat. Odor. Meat with an offensive odor should be avoided. This type indicates a sign of spoilage or putrefaction. Once meat has a bad or a foul odor, it should not be chosen, it should not be what, but because it is not good. Number five, I have to consider the dishes I am to prepare before buying or purchasing the meat. So depending on the dishes to be prepared or type of menu to be prepared, one has a choice to make from the different cuts of meat. In our previous lesson, we have about 18 cuts from a cow. We have the head, we have the neck, we have the rib roast, we have the lap, we have the wing and cylon, we have the housekeeper's cut. So you have a different varieties of cut depending on what you are preparing. Number six, tenderness. This is a measure of the toughness of the meat. Tenderness should be considered in relation to the type of cut required, the purpose for which the meat is meant, and the cooking method to be used. For the meat to be chosen, you should know the method you are using. If it's for pepper soup, you know the cow head, the shin beef, or the leg beef, or 
should what be considered depending on what you are preparing. Now, what are the methods of cooking meat? There are methods, many methods of cooking meat. The method chosen will, however, depend on two factors. These factors are one, the type of cut. Is it the shank? Is it the leg? Is it the head? Is it the offer? So it depends on the type of cut. Now, number two, the objective of the cooking, the reason for the cooking. Is it a large scale cooking? Is it for house use or on a smaller scale? Now, the various methods are number one, boiling. The process of heating the meat in water for some time. It could be pepper soup, it could be soup. That is boiling. Number two, we have frying. Cooking of meat in heated oil. And the cooking time is very short, therefore not suitable for tough meat. Therefore, there are two methods of frying the meat. The meat can be boiled before frying, or if it is uh, the easy part, which can easily be fried, you don't need to boil before you what? Before frying. Number three, we have stewing. This is a slow, gentle method of cooking meat. The meat is put in some water and other ingredients and heated for a considerable length of time. It is best method for tough cuts of meat. The head, the tail, and the leg. Cheap cuts of meat, which are not easily cooked, can be used in what? In stewing. Because this stewing involves a slow method of cooking. And through this slow method of cooking, that cheap cut of meat, which is tough, will be softened. Number four, we have roasting. This cooking, this is cooking meat in an open fire. It is a dry heat method during which meat is cooked in an open pan without added water. The meat should not be pierced. Why shouldn't the meat be pierced at the process of or roasting so that the juice will not ooze out from oozing out, thereby losing some of its nutrients? The juice should cook the meat and make it what to be softened. If it is pierced and then the, the, it oozes out, which means some nutrients will be lost. Number five, broiling. This is using a broiler as in an oven. This is a process of dry heat cookery in which heat is applied to meat directly from its source. The source of heat can be from the broiling unit of a gas or electric cooker or hot coals. Number six, we have braising. This is usually to brown the meat in a small amount of fat in the pan. Here, fat in form of what oil is added to the meat and then makes it to what? To brown. Number seven, which is steaming. This is cooking the meat using steam. It is suitable for invalids and convalescents. This method is best for invalids and convalescents because it is easily digestible. The meat is cooked in its own juice. Example like lamb uh, or goat. It is steamed in its own juice and then it's what? Easy for digestion for invalids which, who are sick or convalescents who are recovering from an illness. Number eight, we have grilling. Cooking meat in the grill of an oven or electric cooker. Now we have meat and offal dishes. There are dishes, so many dishes we can make from meat or offal. Number one, we have beef stew. We can use meat in making what? Beef stew. We have beef soup. Different types of soup, both uh, traditional and continental soup can be used. Number three, we have meatball in form of a snack or a dish too. Number four, we have beef jollof rice. Remember, we are talking of what? Dishes that can be made using beef. Number five, we have beef fried rice. Number six, we have beef sauce. We can use our beef in making what sauce. Number seven, we have curried beef. Number eight, we have brown beef stew. Number nine, we have fried peppered meat. 
Number 10, we have offal pepper soup. Number 11, we have offal soup. And number 12, we have offal stew. All these are dishes that we could use meat in preparing. And we know there are all what different methods in preparing these dishes. Now, what are the effects of heat on meat? Number one, the protein coagulates. We remember the test of protein. If you are to check the nutrients in protein or the effect of heat in protein, the protein does what? Coagulate. It cuddles. It hardens. It denatures on what? Heating. Number two, cooking renders meat digestible. You can't eat raw meat, but once meat is cooked or heated, it what? It renders the meat to be what? Digestible. The fiber does what? Softens. Number four, the meat shrinks. If I should slaughter a cow after frying or cooking, it will not be the same size again. Why? Because meat shrinks when heated. The color changes. Either from what? From red to dark brown. Why? Because it has been heated. Flavor develops. Once you eat a heated meat, it has flavor. The color changes. Flavor develops. And then cooking reduces the water content. Yes. Meat contains water. But once it is heated, the water content does what? Reduces. Number eight. Cooking improves the appearance of meat. You want to eat meat when it is cooked, but in its raw stage, you cannot eat, except you are a carnivorous animal. Then we have the next, which is what? Definition of offal. So many people get confused when we say offal. They don't usually understand what offal means. You can equally call it organ meat. So what do we mean by offal? Offals are the internal organs of a slaughtered animal. The entrails of a slaughtered animal. These are the internal organs. When an animal is slaughtered, the internal organs are removed. These internal organs are known as what? Offal. They are the entrails of what? Of a slaughtered animal. And what are the examples of this offal? Number one, we have the heart. The cow has a heart, too, just like the human being. These are also known as what? Organ meat. Number two, we have the lung from the pictures here. And then we have the tripe. What do you mean by the tripe? The tripe is the walls of the what? The intestine of the cow. That is the tripe, as we can see from the picture. The walls of the intestine is known as what? Tripe. And then we have the intestine. That is also known as what? Organ meat. Then the brain is also the internal. They are called internal. They are not exposed. They are in. It cannot be seen like the eyes or the leg. So the brain is also what? An internal organ. And then we also have the sweet bread here. It's also an organ meat. Then we have the ox tongue, which is the sweetest. It is also an internal organ of the cow. Then we have the kidney. Then the last, we have the liver. All these are examples of what? Organ meat. They are also called what? Offal. And as we said, offals are the internal organs of a slaughtered. And you can't see them except the animal is what? Slaughtered. And we have the heart. We have what? The brain. We have the lungs. We have the liver. We have the sweet bread. And we have the tripe. All these are examples of what? Internal organs of a slaughtered animal, which is also known as Offer. Now, what are the nutritional value of offer? Number one, they are called, they contain good quality protein. The aged people are advised to eat this type of meat because the cow itself is a red meat, which contains a lot of cholesterol, which is not advisable for the aged. But this offer contains good quality protein, which is what? Easily digestible. It is also known as what? White meat. It also contains mineral elements, like the calcium, like the phosphorus. It also contains vitamins, vitamin A and B. Also contains B-complex vitamins, and it contains little fat. The fat in offal cannot be compared to the fat in cow, because the fat in the beef 
it's not easily digestible it is embedded but this one is what is easily digestible that is why it is known as what white meat offers are very perishable they are highly perishable and therefore should be what should be quickly washed and cooked quickly if not it will spoil it spoils easily and so it should be washed quickly and then stored either in a freezer or you steam to avoid its spoilage now what do you mean by red and white meat as we are dealing with wheat, meat we need to know what it means to say a meat is red and then white what do you mean by red and white meat red meat contains more fat and connective tissue it is found in beef pork lamb and so on and has more flavor their meats are not easily digestible and that is why it has a connection with heart related diseases and that is why we are advised especially the adults not to go more on beef and then the white meat has a lower texture with a less amount of fat and connective tissue this white meat is easily digestible and contains more of what b complex vitamin for examples of this white meat is what veal rabbit veal we know is what cut from a young calf and then we have the rabbit we have chicken we also have games which are hunted animals in the bush so chicken and offal and so on these are known as white meat because they are what they have less connective tissue they are easily digestible and they contain lots of what b complex vitamin now how what are the ways of storing and preserving offal offal should be washed in plenty of salty water or over a running tap why if you go in some restaurants and you eat offal especially the intestine you find out that it is bitter why is it bitter because it is not properly washed it should be washed over a running tap you open it up so that the water will wash out all the intestine but because they want to maximize their time you see they're not doing it well so offal should be washed over a running tap and should be washed in plenty of salty water to avoid especially the intestine to avoid it being cooked with what some of the excreta and then it should be preserved in a freezer to prevent spoilage steam offal in place where you don't have freezer it has to be steamed in its water till it is dried to preserve where there is no freezer if i want to use my offal and i don't have freezer and i want to use it either in the evening or tomorrow morning what do i do i have to wash thoroughly add a little salt no water and cook it in its own water till it is what properly dry this will help in preserving it and it will not go bad now conclusion offals are highly perishable so therefore should be cleaned quickly and kept in a freezer to avoid spoilage My students, we have come to the end of today's lesson, but let's just review on what we have learned. We started by mentioning the factors to consider when buying meat. We said the food value, the freshness of the meat, the order of the meat, the dishes to be prepared. And then we went on to mention the methods of cooking beef or meat. Went on to mention boiling, stewing, frying, braising, grilling, and roasting. These are the methods of what? Cooking meat. And then we went on to mention what are meat or offal dishes? What can I prepare using meat or beef 
We said beef stew, uh, beef soup, meatball, beef jello rice, beef fried rice, beef sauce, curried beef, brown beef stew, and so on. And then we went on to mention the effects of heat. When meat is heated, what are the effects of heat on meat? We said that the protein does what? Coagulates, curdles, hardens, and then it denatures it. What do I mean by denaturing? It is no longer in its original state. It has been altered. And then we said cooking renders meat digestible. When meat is cooked, it is what? Easily digestible than when it is raw. And I don't think anybody eats raw meat. And then the fiber does what? Softens. And then the meat shrinks. How? Because the moisture content has been reduced. The color changes. It is no longer dark red or purplish red. It is now dark brown because it has been heated. And then the, the uh, flavor does what? Develops. Cooking reduces the water content and improves the appearance of meat. Then we went on to offal. And I said another name for offal is what? Organ meat. And what is offal? We said that offal is the internal organ of a slaughtered animal. You cannot see these internal organs until these animals are slaughtered. Ex example, the, the cow. So they are internal organs of a slaughtered animal. And then we went on to mention the examples with pictures here. We said we have the heart. And then the tribe, which is the walls of what? The intestine, which some people call towel. And then we have the lungs. We have the intestine. Then we also have the brain. We have the sweet bread. We have the ox tongue, we have the kidney, and the liver. They are all known as what? Organ meat. And then what are the nutritional value of this org uh, of organ meat? We say they are good quality protein. They contain mineral elements, the calcium, the phosphorus, and so on. They contain vitamin B. And then little fat, which is what? Easily digestible. That is why it is advisable for the ages to eat them more instead of eating red meat. And then they, we said that they are highly perishable, and so they should be washed quickly and then stored quickly to avoid its spoilage. And then we come to red and white meat. What is red meat? We said these are meat that contain small fat and connective tissue. It is found in beef. And these are the meat that contain high level of what? Cholesterol, which the adults should not take or consume. Though it is flavor, more flavor than white meat, but it should not be what? Taken by adults. Should not be consumed more by adults. Then we have the white meat, which has a lower texture with a less amount of fat and connective tissue. For example, we have the veal, the rabbit, the chicken, offal, and so on. And then we went on to mention ways we can store or preserve this offal. The offal should be washed in plenty of salty water or over a running tap and stored or preserved in a freezer to prevent spoilage. But whereby we don't have freezer, you can steam offal in its water till it is dried to preserve where there is no freezer. Now I'm going to leave you with an assignment. Number one, how do you cook meat at home? Using four different methods. From what we have learned, we mentioned about eight methods of cooking meat. So now mention four methods of cooking meat. Number two A. Mention five examples of offer. As we have mentioned with pictures, you are to mention five examples of offer. And then B, state three nutrients in offer. I'll take the assignment again. Number one, how do you cook meat at home? Using four different methods of cooking. So you are now going to explain four different methods of cooking meat at home now 2a mention five examples of offer b state three nutrients a offer now for more reading or for your assignment these are the references we have number one home economics food and nutrition for senior secondary schools one to three by jo olusanya and ob aec and co Home Economics through Food and Nutrition for Senior Secondary School 1 to 3 by J. O. Lusanya, O. B. A. C. and Co. Number 2, Examination Focus 
of Food and Nutrition for Works and SSCE by J. O. Ulusonya and F. Bala and Co. I remain your Subangozi Gloria. You can reach me on this number 0806-594-5214 for more inquiries, questions, or observations. Keep safe, keep learning till we meet in the other class. Thank you.